With the arrival of the new streetcar and growing nightlife in downtown Tucson, there are more opportunities to catch live jazz in multiple venues throughout the week. The Tony Frank Trio is here to give us a sample of what we can experience, but first we're going to find out what's happening with their leader, Tony Frank. Guys, how are you? We're fantastic. Thank you for having us back. And Always good to have you back and tell us what are you guys out and about doing right now. We're like frequent flyers here. We should, we should, <laughs> have, a, we should have a punch card. I agree. <laughs> <Let's start>. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to be here. Well, first of all, I, I want to give a plug to our friend Art Frank down in Green Valley. He wrote this wonderful book. It's called Chet Baker, The Missing Years. It's, it's the years when Chet wasn't playing and they were kind of going around LA and doing odd jobs when Chet was already a superstar. It was, it's a really wonderful book. And uh, you can get it on Amazon. So, uh, Chet Baker, The Missing Years. This is a must read for all jazz fans. So, just a quick plug on that. But as far as the jazz scene is going, since, since we saw you last time, we started doing uh, jazz on Thursday nights at Unplugged down in Congress. And we're Friday nights at Miss Saigon, the new Miss Saigon downtown. And Saturdays now at Mercado San Augustin. Of course, the week always starts out with Elliott's on Congress as well. Mm -hmm. The focus is downtown right now. We're trying to get as much jazz downtown as possible. Hopefully seven nights a week by 2015 is the goal, leading into the Tucson Jazz Festival in January, which will be 10 days, three outdoor stages. It's going to be massive. We might, we might overnight become the, the world's largest wintertime jazz festival. It'll be, it's the very first one. Martin Luther King Day will be an outdoor venue, free events, all throughout downtown. We're going to have clubs that will be having jams every night. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be the biggest jazz event that's ever happened in Tucson. It seems like jazz is taking over Tucson. It's exploding right now. It's really wonderful. There's, and it's all ages. It's mm -hmm. not, this is not your grandfather's music. This, yeah. is, this is definitely, there's people in their 20s. I get a lot of college students at the University of Arizona. Keith Pollack is a, is a jazz histories professor there, and he gives the kids extra credit for coming out to our jazz gigs. So we will have a, a room packed full of 20-somethings, and that's wonderful because that's the next generation, and they're they're keeping it alive for us, and we really, really appreciate that. Why downtown? Why jazz? Why jazz? That's wow. What you want to? You want Sly? You want to? <laughs> Sly? You want to field that one? Why jazz, Sly? No, why jazz downtown? Or why jazz downtown? Yeah. Well, because downtown is alive. Downtown is flourishing. We're a big city. You know, we've always kind of been sleepy here. You know, but all, but now we're we're flourishing, and there's. There's more people that are that are moving here. This is one of the major American cities that hasn't really gotten smaller, you know. And, we're, and, and the downtown arts and, and uh, nightlife and restaurant culture is on fire. I mean, you've seen all the new places up and down Congress. So it's kind of um, it's just it's it's the momentum right now. Downtown is the momentum, and we want to put a good face on our city. We want to put a cultural face on our city. So all major American cities have jazz downtown. We got to have it too. And you mentioned this is not your grandfather's jazz. Yeah. How has jazz evolved to really pull in college students? Well, it's always good for mm -hmm. one, for, for us, I think. It's, it's about the quality of the music. But I think it depends on the players, too. If you have passion for it, we have a real youthful spirit amongst us, you know, yeah. and we're not that young. So. <laughs> 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 but I, we, bring, we bring a lot of energy and a lot of joy to what we do. And I think that's what draws people in, no matter what age they are. Mm -hmm. if we, we really, really love what we do. And there's no, we, every, that comes across more than anything. And I think that's why people come as. As much as the, how good the music is. Yeah. And good music is good music. What are you going to play for us? Oh, how about uh, this, this beautiful tune called It Could Happen to You? All right, excellent. Well, we're going to tell everyone where they can come and see you. And they've got some upcoming shows Monday nights at Elliott's on Congress, Thursday at Unplugged, Friday at Miss Saigon, and Saturdays at Mercado San Augustin. To learn more, just check out their Facebook page, Tony Frank Jazz. Stick around the morning, then we'll be right back with what's happening on tomorrow's show. But first is a performance from the Tony Frank Trio. Hide your heart from sight, lock your dreams at night, it could happen to you. Don't chase love cause you might stumble, then someone drops a sigh and down, down you tumble. Keep an eye on spring, run when the church bells ring, because it could happen to you. And all I did was wonder how your lips would be And it happened to me Thank you. 
Hide your heart from sight Lock your dreams at night Because it could happen to you Don't chase love Cause you might stumble Then someone drops a sign Down, down you tumble Keep an eye on spring run When church bells ring It could happen to you And all I did was wonder how your lips would be And it happened Oh yes it happened And it happened to me